Hey puppy people, Jude the Puppy Nanny here. Let's talk about Puppy Training 101, the Puppy Training Basics. What's the first thing you need to do when you bring your puppy home? Well, potty training, because we want pop puppy to potty outside, not in our homes. And crate training, which is not only a very valuable tool in helping you with the potty training, but also gives puppy a safe place to be, a happy place to be, and when puppy is happily occupied in his crate, it gives you a chance to sit down, put your feet up for a few minutes, which is really neat in the early days of owning a puppy. The other thing, when puppy comes to you, puppy will still be a jumper up because when puppies live with their moms and their siblings, they jump up and they nip and that's how they play. However, it's not going to make your children happy when they want to play with puppy and puppy jumps it up and nips them. So you want to get that under control as soon as possible so that everybody's happier. So you're going to train your puppy to leave it. I use the word off. You leave it when asked. After you've done that, uh, or while you're doing that, you want to train your puppy to focus on you. And you can say, look, puppy, look at me, or any words that come easily to you. And when she does, uh, give her a treat. The other thing that you want to encourage at this point is to have her follow you. She'll probably do that anyway. So encourage her and give her treats for doing it. You probably already know that puppies chew. They're not the slightest bit discriminatory when, about what they chew. Chair legs, shoes, people, clothing. That's not what we want. So what you really want to start right now is get, getting a puppy hooked on chewing on chew toys. There's a bunch of them around. Uh, and they're stuffable, so you can stuff them with something good and tasty and interesting. And if you have three or four, then you have always got something to leave puppy with in her crate. And she will then develop what we want, which is the chew toy habit. Puppies will be handled throughout their lifetime. So right now is a really good time to get puppy accustomed to being handled by you, by your friends, by visitors, by your family. When I say handled, that means handle her all over. Hold her, turn her on her back, handle her ears, look at her eyes, handle her tail, her genitals, rub her belly, all of the thing, all of her body parts, and so that she gets used to it and she actually learns to like some of it. I can't say enough about socializing your pup because it's pups that are not well socialized at a young age that develop problems later when they don't want to meet other dogs. They don't want to meet new people. And I don't think that's what you want. We're all pretty social. So invite your family, your friends, and your neighbors to come and meet your new puppy and to handle her. They need to play by the uh, new puppy rules, which is that they don't pick puppy up unless puppy has all four feet on the floor. And if puppy nips, they need to say, ouch, and back away, and then call puppy to them and have her sit before they carry on. Your household's probably a pretty noisy place. Most of the ones I know certainly are. You know, there's vacuum cleaners, coffee grinders, kids playing, television, music, all manner of things. So make sure your pup is accustomed to all of those household noises. And whenever you can, take your pup with you, either to a friend's house or shopping or to the mall. And of course, if you're going to take puppy in the car, please take pup in a car crate or something to confine her in the back seat where she'll be safe. If you're going to take her in the mall, you probably have to carry her because number one, it's not safe for her until she's had all her shots. And number two, they're probably not going to let you in. Bite inhibition is a very important deal. And what it means is that your puppy or your dog will not exert enough pressure with her jaws to cause harm. This must be done before pup is 18 weeks old. And the reason that your pup must learn this is because as he grows up, and moves into the bigger world, 
things become, things can happen that are startling or scary and he will react. So when he reacts, what you want is you want him to not exert enough pressure with his teeth to cause harm. So that's why bite inhibition is so important. And you can train him to do, to inhibit his bite. You train him by, by training him to leave something and you train him with the ouch business. And of course you train him by playing games with him. <laughs> Puppy training 101 is a, that's a pretty extensive list and it kind of all of these things need to be undertaken at one time, which is why it can be a little bit overwhelming. Not so overwhelming if you can figure out how you're going to incorporate this into your daily interaction with your puppy. The first thing I always say to people is make sure you have a pocket full of treats all the time. That way you're always ready to use a training opportunity. So you're going to teach your puppy in these early days to sit, to lie down, to stand, to come, to stay, to settle. You're going to want her to walk nicely on a leash. And although she may not have found her voice yet, she probably will. So you will want to train her to speak and shush and to take something and to leave it. Pup can do all these things. You know that. What we want is we want your puppy to do these things on cue. And what that means is when you ask. And this is the time to begin this lifelong relationship that you're going to have with your puppy because this is a big commitment and you want to build a bond. Puppies are very lovable and that's a good thing. Respect too though that she's a different species from us and learns a little differently than we humans do. Encourage every one of her efforts to do as you ask. She may not get it perfectly right the first or second or even the tenth time, but always tell her she's doing well and treat her with kindness. There are lots of positive training methods and if you do a little research you'll find one that works for you. Lure Reward, which is the one I use, I really like. It means I use my voice and I'm and I reward. All or none training is great if you've adopted an older pup or a dog. Um, and it's very simple in that if the dog is doing something you like, such as lying down or sitting, you tell her she's good and reward her. Clicker training is promoted by lots and lots of dog trainers. And while it's great for shaping behavior, I personally am not fond of it for puppy training. There's several reasons for this, but probably the most important one is that I think that this is a really good time to have to create this wonderful bond with your puppy and there's no substitute for your voice. Um, there's still, and sadly, there are still trainers that talk about pinch collars, jerking, splatting, popping, um, choke collars. You know, there's no need and there is no place for any of those, I consider them violent methods in training a puppy. They're outdated. Socialization, socialization, socialization. I cannot say enough about it. It goes on forever, meeting new people, new dogs. One of the great reasons for taking a dog for a walk, because you're bound to run into new people and uh, other dogs and encourage anyone that wants to speak to your dog and encourage your dog to meet other dogs and other puppies. Take the, take your puppy to new places. Experience, have your puppy experience different things. Because you know, the more new things that a puppy is exposed to, the more confidence she builds. And then there are no things that are new. So she, she becomes an adult dog who is a companion that is confident and you're happy to take her everywhere you go. I, I suspect that's what you want. That's what I would want. So the three biggies in the first 16 to 18 weeks are socialization, bite inhibition, and basic good puppy manners. Once you get beyond the basics, you can train your puppy to do anything. You can train your puppy to heal, roll over, play dead, dance, as whatever you can think of, you can teach. 
as long as it's something that delights you both. First of all, though, you do need to train the basics. Sometimes you need some help with the, the basic because it can be a little bit overwhelming. If you go to judethepuppynanny.com, you can download a free puppy training guide and that will get you started with potty training, crate training, and training your puppy to leave it. I use the word off. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, that's Jude Lemoyne, you'll find weekly puppy training tips there. Sometimes there's something comes up that's so challenging you can't quite figure it out. None of the normal places have the solution for you, so contact me and we'll customize a solution for you in your puppy training challenge. And to do that, just shoot me an email, jude at judethepuppynanny.com. You have taken on a lifetime commitment. Train your puppy with patience and love and lots and lots of encouragement. Above all, as I always say, have fun. That's it for this time. Woof!